Hello guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to Come Play With Me Too. So I'm super excited because this is my first ever personal vlogging video on this channel. And so today, this video, we are going to be having a spinner wheel control my life for one whole day. But before we get started, you're probably wondering where Julian is. Well, yeah, take a look. He slept in, so. So anyways, um, I just woke up early, obviously. The twins are still sleeping, as you can see there. And I'm hungry, so it's time to spin the wheel and see what we'll be eating for breakfast. So the options are cinnamon roll and orange juice, Starbucks pumpkin loaf and pink drink, salmon patty and water, and oatmeal and milk. So let's see what we get. Okay, the wheel is spinning. I really hope it's not salmon patties and water because that's what we had last night for dinner and leftovers would not be so great. Oh, yay! Okay, so we got oatmeal and milk, not a bad option. Although I was secretly kind of hoping for the Starbucks, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go grab the milk and the oatmeal and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I got the oatmeal and the milk, which I do not eat oatmeal every single day. So it was a little bit different making it. And as you noticed also, the twins woke up. So I also had to make them some stuff. So say hi to them. But anyways, the oatmeal's good. I added some brown sugar for taste. So after this, I think I'm gonna play a game, like maybe like truth or dare, but like if I don't answer the questions, I have a punishment. I'll have to go wake Julian up soon and he'll have to give me some nice punishments, but that sounds like fun, right? Julian, come on, it's time to wake up. Come on, come on. Okay, so Julian is officially up. Hi guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we're figuring out things for the truth or dare, and Julian, would you like to give us some ideas? Oh, uh, yeah, so for the punishment, um, hmm. Do you even have an idea? Nope, just trying to come up with one on the spot. Oh, wait a second, I got it. You should put it on the spinner wheel that, um, what your punishment is, you could have a, well, I could make a whole bunch of options for you that you totally not want to do, so that if you don't do the truth or dare, then you have to spin the wheel and see what you get. Um, okay, sounds a little threatening, but I guess I have to go along with the video's title. So before we get started, tell me all the punishments that I would have a chance of having to do if I were not to do a truth or dare, and how many there are. Okay, so me and Ava spent a lot of time behind the scenes making all sorts of funny and embarrassing dares, well, possible dares and punishments. So there are eight total, and are you ready to see what they are? Yeah. Okay, so you might have to call your crush, besides me, obviously, or do embarrassing photo shoots with me, kiss your cousin Emmy's boyfriend, Eat a cup of hot sauce, eat bacon, which you're a vegetarian, so. Prank Sid that she's not your twin, get an eyebrow piercing again, or sing your order at Starbucks. What? But why do you have to do it? Correction, me and Ava. <laughs> Fine. Well, why do you and Ava have to do it? Like, you're putting all these embarrassing stuff on there. Like, how much? Well, then don't lose. Fine, challenge accepted. Okay, let's start. Truth or dare? Um, I'm gonna play it safe. Let's start with truth. Okay, in the worst possible way, huh, how would you describe Sydney? Um, in the worst possible way? Yeah, so like things that you don't really like about her. Oh, um, well, sorry, Sydney, if you're watching, but... I don't really like the design of your room. Your hair is always messy, which I don't really like. I think you really need to start using a curling iron girl. Um, well, I don't think you have really good taste in fashion, so come to me if you need help. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm saying, because you didn't really say how much I need to say. Oh, well, that's kind of smart. So again, I will ask you, Sarah Bauer, Truth or dare? <laughs> um, let's go with dare this time. I want to see what the dare is. Okay, if you're ready for it. I dare you to post a short on this channel right now filled with embarrassing stuff that you wouldn't want anyone to ever see. 
Oh gosh, um, okay. Guys, I really don't want the dare, so I guess I'm just gonna do this. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you when I'm done. Okay, I finished the video and here it is. I don't know, it's just so embarrassing. <laughs> oh man. Should I have really done this though? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, nice job, Sarah. So now I ask you again, truth or dare? Okay, so I thought about it, and I think I'm going to choose dare because everything I've been getting isn't that bad yet. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have said that in front of Jillian. Now he's going to pick something really bad. <laughs> well, that was your decision, not mine, so let's do it. Hmm. Oh, I just saw the best one that you never do. <laughs> oh, my gosh, what is it? You have to hug and hold Cindy's chicken for one whole minute. Uh, I don't know. I'm scared. Uh, I don't know. I've been paranoid of that chicken ever since the St. Patrick's Day video when it came and scared me and Julian. Remember that, Julian? Oh, yeah, that was kind of scary, but I still love that chicken. It's a cute little guy. <laughs> yeah, I know, but, um, no. Not for a million bucks. No. Oh, are you sure? Now you gotta spin the wheel. Yeah, I'm sure. I really don't like that feathered thing. All right, let's spin her up. Ooh, I'm really scared, guys. What do you think I'm going to get? I really don't think I, I... Well, I really don't hope I get something bad, but let's see. Ooh. What? Oh, you have to kiss your cousin's boyfriend. <laughs> okay, just call them. Let's get it over with. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Good news, sir. They're on their way. Oh, no. All right, everyone. So, Emmy and her boyfriend are here. And you're probably wondering why her boyfriend looks so much like Brian. Well, that's because he is Brian. So, welcome back, Brian, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm back. And even though me and Sarah broke up a while ago, me and Emmy are together now. So, yes. So yeah, um, I'm happy to be on Sarah's vlog, so thank you guys for inviting me. Yep, and also, by the way, fans of my album, Sour, all of my, um, well, my two songs on there so far are about Brian, but like, those are kind of like jokes, like I don't actually mean that stuff about him, so yeah, thanks, Sarah. I was like offended the first time your song came out, so <laughs> thanks. Hey, Sarah, you still have to do the dare. Oh, um, yeah, I know. And by the way, when you said I had to kiss Emmy's boyfriend, you didn't say where. So, I can just kiss him on the finger. Oh. Dang it, I forgot about that. <laughs> there you go. All done. Come on in, Julian. Bye, Emmy. I'll miss you. Bye, Brian. I'll see you around. Okay, that wasn't that bad, but now that they're gone, it's time to continue our game of Truth or Dare. So, Sarah, I ask you again, truth or dare? Okay, so, since we only have two rounds left of this, I think I'm just gonna go with dare for the last two. So, dare. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, got it. It's a good one. So, you have to drive me to Starbucks, and then we are going to buy a cookie. You're gonna take a bite of it and say it tastes bad and then hand it back to the workers. <laughs> uh... No, I'm not doing that, because I don't want to ruin my favorite place, Starbucks. So spin up the wheel. Oh, really? Really? Okay, spin her up. Oh, oh, no, guys, I'm scared. Should I pick that dare? I don't know. Let's see what the wheel picks. Hmm. What? No. I have to get an eyebrow piercing. <laughs> I'll go call the police. Oh, my gosh, seriously. Okay, guys, while well, Julian's gone, I'd just like to say... Make sure to watch this video to the end because I will do some crazy challenges and I'll let the wheel pick which amazingly funny prank we will pull on Julian at the end. So make sure to watch till the end. Here's some clips of what happens. Crazy makeup or prank call the pizza place? Sarah, what's going on? So make sure to watch till the end. All right, Sarah, I called the place and they said they can take you in as soon as possible. Oh, no. Guys, I'm really scared to get one because I haven't gotten one in a year and I remember it hurting really bad. And I don't know why I had it growing, but I just didn't like it at the time. And then I didn't put a, um, like an earring in it for a while. So it just like grew in, grew in and um, I'm kind of scared to get it again. So let's see what happens. Okay, we're here and Sarah is sitting in the chair, as you can see. 
and they're getting her ready. So say hi, Sarah. Hi, I'm really nervous. Oh, don't worry, it won't be that bad. Okay, so just one simple eyebrow piercing? Yes, please. Okay, $80 please since it's real diamond, you know. All right, here you go, $80 in cash. This is gonna hurt a little bit, but not too much. Wait, what? Here we go. Three, two, one. There it is. How does it feel? Good. It wasn't that bad. Thank you. You're welcome. Come back soon. All right, we will. Thank you. Bye. All right, so that really wasn't that bad. I'm actually glad how it turned out. It like looks really good. And um, ding dong. Oh, I wonder who that is. Be right back, guys. Oh my gosh, you have to be kidding me right now. Peyton. <gasps> Sarah. <laughs> I haven't seen you since high school. I know, I was just coming to say hi. Oh my gosh, would you like to stay for the day? Yeah, I actually brought um, some suitcases full of clothes. Oh, that's perfect. We can have a whole party. What do you say, yeah. girl? Woohoo, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys can stay. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, we're in the middle of a challenge, so if you, um, Peyton, would like to join to help me out, that would be, like, amazing. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so if you guys are going to spend the night, you can probably spend the night in the Kauai Cave. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, it's very comfy in there, as you can see. And there's free access to the gumball machine. Wink, wink. Oh, my wink. gosh, thank you. It's already so comfy. Yep, <laughs> enjoy. Okay, by the way, you probably noticed we just did a remodel of the room, so I'm going to give you a tour, so come along with me. Okay, so right here. You see, we had this whole, like, wall is where I'm sitting, and, um, my wall of all my awards, and you see Olivia Rodrigo, the most beautiful person on earth. And then over here, we have our kitchen sink, and toothbrush and stuff. Then right here, we have my desk where I make music, and Father's Day card. Now, we have our beautiful bed, and our pets. And um, you remember this from the short. <laughs> and then the cribs, the baby, the cats, the ukulele, and the hanging chair became something to store stuff now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyways. So, we spun the wheel quickly and we landed on two things. We got pizza, like prank call the pizza plays and crazy makeup. So Sarah, you get to decide because it controls your life for 24 hours. Crazy makeup or prank call the pizza place? Oh gosh, um, I don't know. I have to think about that. <laughs> okay, Peyton, so I think I decided that I want to call the pizza place. So get me a phone now. <laughs> uh, okay. Here, you can use my phone. Oh, thanks Peyton. Okay, let's see if they answer. Oh, it's them, they answered. Hello, you've reached Pepino's. How can I help you today? Um, I'm calling about a failed order. I ordered a pizza from DoorDash and they never brought it to me. So I'm angry. Your place is awful. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Well, um, could I help you with anything? Like, um, well, I want a free pizza because you guys never give me the last one that I paid 20 bucks for. Ma'am, I believe this is a misunderstanding. None of our pizzas are over 10 bucks. Oh, well, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, but later I'll need to call them back and tell them it's a prank call because it's my phone. Yeah, but we don't have to worry about that right now. All right, so I just got out of the shower. That's why I'm looking a little bit wet, but it was a few hours since the prank call. So Peyton and her husband are asleep right now in the Kauai cave, and you'll probably hear the noise. It's raining outside. But I really like the sound of rain. It's kind of satisfying to me. So I'm kind of glad it's raining because it's been really hot and dry for the last few days. So it's pretty nice. But right now is the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to go get Sydney and she's going to help me pull the biggest prank we've ever done on Julian. So stay tuned to the end. All right, guys, we got Sydney here. Now I'm going to explain the plan. Okay, Sydney? Okay. All right, so here's how it's going to go. So um, I'm going to go outside and hide behind the side of the house. You're going to tell Julian you don't know where I am and that you think you heard a noise in the window breaking. And um, since we have a lot of money to cover with like insurance and all that, you're going to break the window and pretend like some robber guy took me. And I'm going to be outside and you're going to tell Julian you don't know where I am. And then I called some cops and they already know that this is a prank. So 
Julian is probably gonna call the cops and they're gonna come and be like super scared. Like, but obviously they're like acting, but it's going to be so funny. And then I can't wait to see the look on his face when I walk around the corner and just be like, oh, hi. And everyone <laughs> thinks that I was lost. It'll be so funny, okay? Okay. This is gonna be so fun, let's do it. Yeah. Okay guys, so I'm outside of Starbucks and I'm walking around the side of the house because we live right next to Starbucks. So, okay, so I'm gonna hide right by this tree. Okay, I think this is a good spot. Oh, and by the way, Julian and Brandon are like hanging out. You can see over there. So I'm just gonna stay here and we're just gonna hide here for now. So hopefully that feels good. Okay, Sydney, I'm hidden. I'm ready for you to tell them. Let's go tell them now. Boys, guys, guys, I don't even know where the heck Sarah is. I have not seen her in a long time now. Well, isn't she just in her bed? I thought she was sleeping. Is no, this a joke? No, it's not. No, it's not. I can't, I can't find her. Please help me. Please help me. Uh, well, let's just check upstairs, okay? okay. Um, don't freak out, Cindy. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, guys, it's time to break the window. Julian's on his way up, so here we go. Okay, Sydney, I'm here to help. So, when did you see her last? Uh, I don't really remember much, but we were talking in here, and then I went to the bathroom, and then when I came back, I heard a loud noise, and then the window was broken. Oh my gosh. <gasps> She's not lying, guys. That window is broken open. Wow, that's very suspicious. Is there anything else you remember? Yeah, I remember I heard Sarah's voice screaming, and then I heard some random noises. Like, how would you describe them? I don't know. Okay, well, we need to find something out. Like, we need to do something about this because this is, like, terrifying me, actually. Like, am I losing Sarah? Like, where is she? Okay, come on, Sydney. Let's go for a walk and try and find Sarah, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, so we're outside of Starbucks. We've looked around the whole neighborhood, and there's no sign. Like, literally no sign of Sarah, which is really sad because I really want to find her. Like, I don't know what's going on, but... I don't know what else to do, so I guess we're gonna call the cops. Hello, anyone there? 911, what's your emergency? Hello, my wife is missing, and um, I really need someone to help me find her. Oh, I'll definitely help you with that. What's your address? It's 1234 Burst Blue Street, Southwest. Okay, I'll be there in a max of five minutes to help search. Okay, thank you so much, goodbye. Okay, Sydney, so she said she'll be here in a max of five minutes, so let's just keep searching until she gets here. Ugh, we looked everywhere and we still haven't found Sarah, but the cops should be here in a minute or so. Hello there, I'm so sorry about what happened, but can you give me a little bit more detail so that it's easier to find her? Okay, so what happened, basically what I've been told by her twin sister, Sydney, who's right here. Hi. Um, basically, she heard a noise like the window broke open and then she heard my wife, Sarah, scream and a bunch of random noises and we think She's somewhere around here, but, like, I th we think someone took her, so we need help finding her. Okay, thank you. All right, so for this case, I'm going to be using my handy-dandy tracker. So it detects heat, so when I scan over someone's body, it'll turn red, okay? All right. Let's start by scanning the Starbucks, since that's what we're closest to. Beep. 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 Nothing here. Didn't turn red yet. Let's try this side. Beep, 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 beep. Nope, nothing by the drive through Okay, by now I think it's best that we take a lap around the neighborhood. Let's hope she comes back with good news. All right, the results are in, and sadly, there were no traces or like knowledge of where she is or where she was at least so what i suggest is that you go to bed and hopefully she will come back by morning but thank you for having me and i really hope you find her so i'll see you oh that's really upsetting but let's just listen to her so she couldn't find sarah we're a little upset but we're gonna go to bed soon hi guys i heard my name what you talking about <gasps> Sarah, where were you? Sarah, what's going on? Oh, well, I was just hanging outside, you know? Sarah, we called the cops. We were worried. We thought you were lost. Oh, <laughs> who 
well. Just kidding. It was a prank. <laughs> Got you, Julian. Guys, that's not funny. I was so scared. But we're all good now, right? It was just a funny prank, right, guys? <laughs> all right. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you next time.